Hey, all right, second video. So I just want to kind of um, touch base on a couple of things. The reason why diets don't work and why I really like to focus on lifestyle instead of the word diet. To me, diet is a nasty four-letter word. So um, really, it's 80% what you eat, 20% physical activity. So I'm going to kind of walk you through a client of mine. I'm just going to call her Kathy and walk you through something that she has done where she has tried. So um, you'll kind of get a better understanding of why it's so important to really try to stay away from what I would call diets um, and really eat really clean, God-made food as much as possible. Well, it is 20% exercise and it's 80% what you eat. So let's kind of break it down here. My friend Kathy my client Kathy, while uh, was busting her tail at the gym, she wasn't eating right. So she was missing one of the key ingredients, the part where true results really come from. Now, exercise is very important, don't get me wrong. You've got to have exercise, it is part of the equation. But if weight loss is what you're after, you need to be more focused on the food. Now, unfortunately, Kathy's struggles with her weight did not end there, not with just kicking her tail at the gym. Um, she wasn't losing any weight. She was gaining um, on the scales and basically her clothes just kept getting tighter. Her self-esteem went down and she turned to the typical TV programs where all you had was movie stars, celebrity, celebr uh, celebrities trying to entice you to go on their program. She ended up counting calories at every meal, bought 100 calorie snack packs to make things easier paid for weekly support groups. She did everything she could, and it was all kinds of different foods, really not grown from the ground or picked from a tree. So basically, Kathy was starving herself. She wasn't consuming enough food, but yet she wasn't losing any weight. She became very moody, unpleasant to be around, and severely fatigued all the time. She couldn't even think clearly. So I asked Kathy, okay, give me an idea of your three-day intake, including a weekend, of what you're consuming. Come to find out she has this long list of diet everything, diet foods, diet colas, diet, 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 diet. And it, anytime you have all this diet stuff in there, that comes with a ton of preservatives, lots of chemicals, things that aren't grown from the ground or picked from a tree, but have been added to foods to make it taste good for flavoring and so that they can slap the word diet on there because they have removed either fat or sugar. And anytime you remove something naturally from a product, you're going to have to put some other something in it to make it taste good. It's pretty nasty. So say for instance, she consumed diet's ranch. That's pretty nasty stuff. But when you remove the fat out of a product like that, what they're going to have to do is add in either sugars or salt or sometimes both. And it gets to be pretty gross to take to consume. So um, it kind of goes back to the the tasting like cardboard type thing. And everything she consumed was diet. Even a diet lean cuisine, frozen entrees, was her big thing. Um, it it was just um, all all tending to basically marketing to diet things, um, and nothing of it was real. Nothing at all. She was even consuming diet margarine. Uh, margarine is probably the worst things that you can consume. You want to consume real butter. Um, so lots of little things like that. So we had to work on Kathy quite a bit. Now this is just a sample of what she had. A huge bowl of breakfast granola, coffee, quick fix lean cuisine lunchable, afternoon was the diet coke, the graham crackers even though it was lower calorie, and little bits at night time that again was all about just the calorie. Well no wonder Kathy was becoming irritable and fatigued and just couldn't really function because her internal organs and digestive system had no idea what to do with all these so-called foods, these diet foods. Um, it be looks much like a toxin in the body and since the body really doesn't know what to do with it, it ends up storing it in the form of a fat. Well, Kathy couldn't stay on this because she was depriving herself of what the body really needed, the vitamins and minerals that obviously weren't found in those foods. So she ended up going into what I would call a cheat cycle, where she would give herself a little bit 
where she wouldn't feel deprived at a meal and then all of a sudden it would end up being a cheat day, a full cheat day instead of a meal and then it ended up turning into a cheat week. And that's exactly what happens when you start depriving yourself of your vitamins and minerals that your body really needs. Of course, this type of dieting ends up in a yo-yo diet where you lose weight, you gain it back. You lose weight, you gain a little bit more of it back. You lose weight again. It ends up being just a frustration of feelings of failure and total insecurity. So I'll put Kathy on a different plan, a plan of real God-made foods that's balanced. The results after a week, well, she lost five pounds and definitely felt less bloated. She said she had more energy and definitely was starting to get into the groove of it. She also realized that counting numbers wasn't really all that important because she was actually eating more calories than what she originally had been eating, which kind of floored her. But honestly, I wasn't really surprised by the results. How could it be? Eat more food? Lose more weight? Is this really possible? Actually, it is. It is because your body does not thrive off of calories. It actually thrives off of vitamins and minerals when you fuel it efficiently. So the reason that Kathy lost weight while eating more calories is that basically calories in does not exactly equal calories out. So I asked Kathy, so what's the difference? Which one is healthier, the banana or the mini banana muffins that are only 100 calories in your 100 calorie junk food packs, even though they're just 100 calories? She gave me the obvious answer that the banana was a better choice than the snack pack. When I told her that the banana had more calories in the snack pack though, she really hesitated and wanted to change her mind but her gut told her that the banana was still the right choice. And you know what? She was right. What it all really boils down to is what your body does with the food that you eat. The banana is a whole natural food. It doesn't have any preservatives or chemicals in it. With Kathy, she felt improved body function digested it easily, instant identifying it, increased metabolism. She just felt great all over. Her body digested the nutrients, but looking at the muffins, all you see is preservatives in the ingredients list. Sometimes you can't even pronounce it. So once you swallow this chemical concoction, your body instantly starts playing 20 questions. It asks, well, what nutrients can be used? What is this? How will it help my body function? How am I going to digest this stuff? Is this plastic? Oh, what's it doing in my arteries? What is this thing sticking to my sides of my intestines? Unfortunately, your body actually has to give up after a while because it really loses the game. These products are not food. They have virtually no nutritious value to it at all. Basically, it just makes you fat. You can't digest anything. You can't absorb anything. Because your internal organs and digestive system have no idea what to do with the mystery foods. It stores it as a fat. Basically, it just hangs out like a house guest who is worn as welcome out. The real reason so many people are overweight and struggling is because they're eating these chemical laden foods. They're uh, I mean, recommended the latest fad diets to go on. And they're clinging to these 100 calorie snack food packs, the lean cuisines, things like that. Um, even the protein powders, you've got to be careful on consuming too much of that. Don't be fooled by healthy food labels, light, zero calorie, low fat, 100% natural. There are all ways to entice consumers to purchase the products. I really don't blame Kathy. She was definitely misled. We've all been tricked by marketing claims and only keep gaining more and more weight in the process. So she says, the label says they're healthy, so they have to be right? You would think that there are regulations in place to prevent false advertising, right? Uh, not so much. In my years of uh, diet, being a dietitian, um, marketing, they exaggerate, they create buzzwords, trends, or simply mislabel things to their um, advantage to manipulate us into thinking 
that those foods are healthy for them and they need it for their vitality and their health. So the big question is, do you eat a lot of processed foods? Kathy thought she was eating healthy because they were all diet foods, counting calories. They actually contain way more toxic chemicals than a science lab had in them. So think of your body. You've got one door that goes to, to vital organs and the other, one do, other door goes straight to fat cells. What are you putting into them? So once Kathy ditched those granola bars, those 100 calorie junk food packs, those lean cuisines, those things that are labeled diet, once she got rid of those, the fat just melted off her body. Her skin tone evened out, her clothes looked looser, the compliments were rolling in, she felt great, her self-esteem went up, her confidence soared. So Kathy had certainly come a long way, but I also wanted to show her one more thing so that she could really understand what she was finally getting, why she was finally getting results. That I'm going to cover with you on our next video.